guys doing? Welcome back to another video. I've got my guy God behind me. Look at this. <laughs> For today's video, we are going to be working on my mum's Audi. And we are going to be cleaning the engine bay from a hobo's handbag to a bloody sexual feeling that you can't put your finger on because, you know, you never felt it before. What? Before I say anything else creepy, let's go quickly look at the engine bay. <laughs> Boys, can I just say something about this Peugeot? Fucking hell. This bonnet is almost as light as a fucking Indian flip-flop. No joke. See, yeah, honestly, this is full. I don't even know what this is. This looks like what you put in a bloody loft, mate. What the fuck? But yeah, it's not even that bad. I mean, we, we're going to make this proper and proper nice, though. Um, you know, there's a lot of dust all over here. You know, a lot of dust over here. Basically, it's spring cleaning. We've got the birds tweeting, and it's really fucking annoying. But yeah, we are going to make this engine bay spotless <laughs> bet you're happy to see my face again bitch let me go show you guys my engine bait that i've already done with this like method it's peng boys i could eat my bloody roast dinner off this look so obviously this is what hopefully my mum's engine is going to look like so here's it before hopefully after the yellow's going to pop you know the blacks are going to pop and this was using no water at all for today's video we are going to be using the same products that i used in my last one which is auto finesse aradikot this sounds like a russian bloody hitman boys so what this is it is an engine degreaser and this smells like barbie mixed in with a little raspberry and to paint la picasso we're going to be using a engine or a detailing brush and then to get rid of all the dirt we're literally just going to be wiping it up with a microfiber cloth this is the final product to make this car look sensational this is auto finesse dressel this is gonna i think protect the plastics and also make it look new you know so yeah, without further ado whack on some gloves you know oh that went on extremely nicely so here is some footage of the engine before we super cleaned it and honestly it wasn't even that bad i mean around spark plugs you know it's a bit gunky you know a bit disgusting but other than that all the plastic just had a little bit of dirt on but we're gonna make all of it pop today so yeah we're gonna get straight on with it we're just gonna start with this bit firstly and then move on around the engine Jeez, look at this, you fit a bloody baby down there. It might be only five seats, but you can put a six seat there, jeez. Right, obviously, now that you can obviously see all the dirt, you know, just kind of hanging around, you don't want to let it dry. You just want to get um, a cloth, wipe that bitch clean. <laughs> fluid little thing looking spotless now look at that and you know what i'm gonna move on to the next thing because i really could not give a shit if that is 100 percent perfect right so far this side of the car is looking absolutely pengalicious honestly that's a new bloody word they should put that in the english dictionary they should pengalicious so obviously this side yeah looking absolutely sensational jeez there is so much dust from this every time you touch it watch this wait Look how much dust comes off and it just ruins everything. But obviously we're going to move on to the next part of the engine, which is all this. And honestly, look at all the like, gunk down there. But we're going to try and clean that up today. Try not to get any in the spark plugs. 
But yeah. I want to know from you guys, would you ever, you know, clean your engine bay? Or if you have a car, do you clean your engine bay? If you're planning on doing it after watching this video, you tell me. But you should be paying me for giving you these ideas. Jeez. This is our progress so far. I think this bit needs to go over again. It's got this weird, like, it's like scratches. Obviously need to go over here, the little bits here. So yeah. I mean though, just look how nice the plastic looks. Even without the bloody dress on. That's right, right. Does this not look like some bloody like turkey or something? Some ham, that looks tasty, that does. That kind of ma makes me hungry right now. Honestly, getting onto the last bits now. We're on the screen wash, all of this bit. We might do the paintwork down there, but I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, the engine bay is really looking good now. I'm gonna go over it once more, just to get rid of all the dust from this fucking thing. The smells that this gives off, and also the dressel. This is dressel, and honestly, the smell that this gives off as well. But I'm very happy with how it's turned out so far. So far. So far? Not 100% clean, but um, it's never going to be fucking clean with this molten beach. Right, another bad bit of the car done. Look at down there. It's looking, looking kind of cute for our chicken right now. Jeez, look at, look at down there though. It's actually, you know, quite clean. I mean, there are bits underneath like these poles that I can't get. Obviously, if I use a jet wash or something, I could get the dirt out, but I can't because I'm not using one. So now that it's all done and it's actually looking very nice, you know. Yeah, not perfect, but now what we're going to do is we're going to use some Dressel on the engine. So what we're going to do is we're going to spray it all over the car, all, all over the engine. Then we're going to run the car for a little bit just to, you know, make the dressing dry quicker. And then it's all done, basically. Oh my god, the smell of that. As you guys can see, the dresser has kind of started to like disappear in some places like here. So I think it's all good to dry and buff off now. So let's do it. So we have got a different cloth. Um, I have two of these. I'm just gonna buff that beach off. Okay, all right, so after like an hour of doing this engine bay, this naughty fucking engine bay, this dirty girl, let me show you guys the results. Ready, three, two, one, and voila. Look at, hold on, look at that. It's so, every, every black is black. That sounds racist, but it's not. Every red is fucking red. I mean, look at this. It looks like some ham or something. That actually makes me hungry. All the plastics just look so good. Not up close, because they're like scratched up close, but back here, you know? Honestly, very happy with it now. The only thing I'm not happy with is this little shit bag. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of uh, my results because I'm actually very, very happy with it, you know? Like the brake fluid reservoir, that's looking shiny now. Honestly, and this thing, it just looks... I don't know what it is, but 
He just looks like some ham. But yeah, other than that, very, very happy with it. Let me know what you guys think. So here is an overview of the engine before, and honestly, look at it now. Whew! Honestly, the plastics just look new. They look sexy. I might sleep with one of these plastics, genuinely. The coolant reservoir, the caps just look so much nicer and beautifuller. Around the spark plugs was the worst bit, and now that is looking sexy now as fuck. And the brake fluid, oof, look at it now. Jeez. That brake fluid cap should have its own bloody commercial. But yeah, right, unfortunately guys, that is the end of today's video from me and the Audi R8, you know? But yeah guys, unfortunately that is the end of today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Uh, follow me on Instagram at the underscore other stuff if you haven't already. Or subscribe if you did enjoy. If you didn't, don't. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you love faces in the next video. Bye.